Welcome back, Devils fans. It is your host, Ace, here on Running With The Devils, where we are talking New Jersey Devils hockey all year long. Please hit that subscribe button, smash the like, share with a friend. Thank you very much. And today, the New Jersey Devils finally made the grand unveiling of Jacob Markstrom's beautiful new mask. I'm not sure why we didn't get this a week or two ago, as many of us here have talked about wanting to get a good look at it. We've you know, kind of analyze some game shots, but we've never gotten that fully focused kind of photo shoot quality photos of it. And here the devils come with it better late than never. Again, we should have got this a week or two ago, but putting out a post on Instagram today, we see the cover photo of Jacob Markstrom in that beautiful, beautiful mask. And they give us a little bit of a closer look at it. And this is one of my favorites in years. I must say we take a look. There's like kind of the aerial of the front part of the head there. And you see a, Jersey Devil, the legend of the Jersey Devil. For those of you not familiar, do some research. The internet says your friend. Google that thing up. The Jersey Devil, which resided in the Pine Barrens, a wooded area in southern New Jersey, kind of between, I believe it's kind of between LBI and Atlantic City, somewhere in that stretch. But the Jersey Devil and the Pine Barrens, definitely a huge part of New Jersey history. So we see the little outline of the Jersey Devil there. It looks like I don't know, it's like a ripped piece of paper or something. It looks like it may have been a story. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what they were going for there. But you see the Jersey Devil head and a little piece of a tail. You see the the actual words, the Pine Barrens. And then we look at the side. Again, he really leaned in on the Jersey Devil Pine Barrens motif. Uh, A real ode to the Jersey Devil and obviously the origin of the New Jersey Devil's name. If you look here, you see it's kind of got some cool texture on the logo, which I like a lot. And you see the trees for the Pine Barrens, more of that Jersey Devil image with the horns. Pretty scary creature. This mask artist did a phenomenal job, knocked it out of the park. So that's one of the sides you're looking at there. And then we go to the chin area where it has, again, a Jersey Devil tail along with his last name of Markstrom. Beautiful detail and painting here in this work. And then we look at another another side, and there's a really prominent Jersey Devil head with the teeth and the red eyes, the tongue. Love to see it. Beautiful depiction of the Jersey Devil. I really like this mask. It really is something fierce, and it's probably going to give some little kids nightmares, honestly, but it's a beautiful mask. And then we see the back, the back of the head there, the back plate. We have more Pine Barrens, a little distant shot of the Jersey Devil flying. Got the, the Swedish crowns there in red. And then Clark Marley, the name of Jacob Markstrom's son, and Papa, which is obviously Jacob Markstrom. He's Papa. If you haven't seen it, check it out on the Devil's YouTube. They did a cool kind of thing, a uh, little video clip uh, the first time. Jacob Marks and his family went to Prudential Center, and he's walking around with his little kid and his wife. Pretty cool. Shout out to Clark Marley, little Markstrom. And then, some of you may not know, most goaltenders also have a backup mask in case something happens to the main one, whether it breaks, there's a you know a malfunction of some kind. They have a backup mask. And these images came out the other day, courtesy of the mask artist. And this one is also beautiful. Here we see the side profile. It's kind of hard to see what's going on um, on the first glance, but you see a devil outline logo there along with what appears to be blood spatter on the cage. And then you see the top and you're like, what's going on there? Here's the other side. It's basically a mirror image of the other side. You have the devil's logo, the blood spatter, you know, some red and black kind of thing going on in the background. And then you see the aerial on the head. Look at that. What an intimidating skull. That is also nightmare fuel for little kids. My God, Markstrom just killing it with these masks. A scary skull on the top of the dome here on the backup mask. And then there's a frontal of the cage. I love the blood spatter. Super creepy, super eerie. Goes along with the skull. And that blood spatter reminds me of one of my favorite shows of all time, uh, Dexter. What a show. Blood spatter, a huge element of the entire series. And that's kind of reminds me. We've got the blood spatter on the cage. His number 25 on the chin. And just another quick look at the sides here. Devil logo. Love to see it. I'm going to go back to the primary mask real quick. The Pine Barrens really remind me of one of my favorite episodes of Sopranos. Let me know if you guys are Sopranos fans or if you've ever seen it. The Pine Barrens, one of the funniest episodes, in my opinion, of the series. And anytime I see anything about the Pine Barrens, it um, definitely reminds me of that. And this mask definitely does as well. It would have been hilarious if he dropped... A little cartoonish uh, Paulie Walnuts and Chrissy somewhere in the Pine Barrens with the rest of with the Jersey Devil theme would have been hilarious. But 
Let me know what you thought about the mask in the comments. The Devils finally revealed it. Let me know what you think about the backup mask. I think that one's beautiful as well. Anything, everything, New Jersey Devils hockey, throw it out there in the comments. I love talking to you all. I'll be back very soon with a bunch of stuff I'm working on. And if you like goalie masks, keep an eye out, guys. In a couple weeks, two to three weeks, I have a piece I'm working on that is going to be a special treat for fans of goalie masks. We're going to take a little a little travel back in time and look at some really cool stuff. So look for that. That's going to be awesome. But that's it. I'll be back very soon with something else I'm working on, and that's it. That's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Until next time, friends, let's go Devils. <laughs>